News Army. Hurricane Fiona continues north after destroying Puerto Rico. Tuesday, Hurricane Fiona escalated to a Category 3 hurricane after leaving Puerto Rico without electricity and killed at least four people. The storm dumped 6 to 20 inches of rain on Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, up to 30 inches in the south and southeast of the island. The rain caused rivers to overflow their banks and created rock and mudslides, authorities from the Federal Emergency Management Agency stated during a news briefing on Tuesday. The storm system is packing maximum sustained winds of 125 miles per hour as it moves away from the Turks and Caicos Islands after dumping heavy rainfall on portions of the islands. It may become a category for hurricane with gusts of 140 miles per hour by Wednesday night. The National Hurricane Center predicts the storm will continue to move away from Turks and Caicos on Wednesday and will hit Bermuda late Thursday. Bermuda has a tropical storm watch in place. At least four deaths have been attributed to the hurricane in Puerto Rico, according to FEMA authorities. Secretary of Health and Human Services Xavier Becerra issued a public health emergency for the U.S. territory on Tuesday. On Monday, authorities confirmed that one person had died due to the island being struck by a Category 1 hurricane. According to sources, the inhabitant of Arecibo was trying to fill his generator with gasoline while it was running, creating an explosion. As of Tuesday afternoon, according to Steve Goldstein, liaison between the National Weather Service and FEMA, no one has been reported missing. It is too soon to determine the storm's financial cost, according to FEMA officials who are still evaluating the extent of the devastation in Puerto Rico.